That So you ready to do your investigation? So, because you, you need both sides of the story. I'm, that's what I was going to talk to you okay. about. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for your professional. How do you uh, spell your name or say your name? Definitely Walsingham. Walsingham. Um, what we do for you? We, uh, we hadn't even got in. We, uh, we're doing a tour of the whole town. We're, okay. we're uh, not from here. Okay. Uh, we've already visited the sheriff's department and everything else. I yep. told them we were going to be out here videoing. Yep. Um, this guy here, while I was standing there taking pictures of the sign, the signage on the window. Yep. Uh, always. Okay, is it live. As well? Live on the internet in front so of hundreds of people. So it's audio as well. Always recording yeah. everything. Right, that's yes or no. Video is video and audio. Well, I mean, I was taking. I, let me finish my sentence here, sir. I was in the process of um, taking pictures of a sign, okay. not trying to engage or speak with anybody. Okay. Only people that I've spoke with are people that have come to speak to me. Okay. I'm here minding my own business. And uh, so I'm taking pictures of the sign. This dude walked straight up this close to my face where I can feel his breath through his mask. Okay. I said, sir, please step back six feet. I'm, I'm literally taking a picture of a sign saying, please practice this. Yep. And then he comes and says right in my face. I mean, whoa, first off, you know, I was just like, dude, could you please step back okay. and be a little professional here? We can have a conversation with it. He said, it's against the law for you to take a picture of a bus in movement. And I was like, what law is that? You know, um, I don't see anything posted that this is private property. I'm guessing that this is probably publicly funded. And so we were just here conducting our First Amendment protected activity. We weren't trying to even talk to anybody. Now I have to get a file a complaint on them, though, you know, okay. so. In the state of Florida, it is a two-party state, so you do have to have consent to record anybody's audio, their voice. So In person. Yeah. In public. Yes, you, it's a two-party no matter where you are. So you have to have my consent in order to record my voice. Okay. Just, that's for future reference, okay? I, I'm, I'm gonna look into that. That's, that's fine, you can go ahead. Um, next is, as a worker here, he has the right to trespass warn anybody from this property. Okay. At this point, I do believe that he wishes for all, are you involved in this now? So no, he said he's just an observer. Cool. So he would wish for the three of you to be trespassed. So, so are I'm you giving me a verbal trespass so from this public property? I'm gonna property? get your documentation. I'm gonna get your name, your birth date. I'm gonna get all your information. Uh, for what law have I broken? You're trespassing. Well, I'm, I have to be given the chance to leave once given the trespass warning, which you've given me. Now I leave. And so, and so, you know, now what? <laughs> I give me my trespass warning and I leave. That's the way it works. I don't have to give you that. I don't have... I don't have to give you that. Sweet, thank you, okay. thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, um, and I'm gonna have to file. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like to. Uh, I, I already went and got me a complaint form for the sheriff's department. Okay. Since I've been publicly uh, trespassed from public property for no law being committed, I will be filing an internal affairs investigation on you. Okay. And uh, I would like for you, if you could please, sir, go uh, get whoever his boss is to give me a complaint form so I can make file a complaint on him as well. So, uh, I need you to please protect and serve and do your duty. That, uh, you are making a trespass request for us on public property, even though we haven't broken the law. Yes, as the yes. as a worker from here, okay, he is given the authority under his boss to trespass warn anybody that he wish deems an unnecessary customer. We didn't even get to buy anything yet. He don't even know if we were gonna take a bus. He never asked. Like okay. we were just ref refused it's just, service. It's just, it's just like a hotel. If you become an unwanted guest, we can remove you. From and public? You're only unwanted so you, we so you can go to a not, public park and tell someone you're reason. unwanted here because you're wearing a red shirt. You need That's to get different. out of here. Well, it's unwanted. It's different. You're at that. You're at a public park at that point. This, this is, is a public place. This is still an enterprise run by them. They still are the workers here. They still have the right to refuse service. Anytime that a, a, a company opens okay, up and takes service. in. I get it. Yes. Reserve, refuse service. Yes, sir. Yes. But that's different than a and trespass. And You're also okay. And what did she say? To kind of have a yeah, it's kind of loud. The, the loud. It is now. You stand I'm right here by the road. Exactly wasn't. Okay, so it's. You want me, you want to read yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate this. Go. Thank you. Uh, oh, you guys got people looking it up for you? Nice. Yes, yes. 
I definitely do this. Uh, I stay alive to protect myself. Man. No, absolutely. I understand because on the way here, I wanted to try to educate myself. As yeah, well, yeah. Which is where I found the two-party rule. Here it is. All right. Uh, Nine three four dot zero three. For in-person communications. Oh, sorry. I just went away. That that's the live stream. Uh, communications when the parties do not have a reasonable expectation of privacy in the conversation that makes sense because you are in public exactly are that's what that i was one? telling you uh, and I so I, and so they told me i can't take pictures in public which i can you like then you trespass me from public property for taking pictures you refuse, you refuse no you verbally gave me a trespass you, you refuse to provide uh, i have video documentation yeah I, I've, I asked you to leave the property you okay, so can, can so is this trespass going to be revoked so I can make go continue doing no, my business? You step back on, I'm going to get identification and I will put it in our system. As and and so mark. now that you know that I'm allowed to take a uh, video, yes, you know that I don't want you on the property. You, but, it, where it is. but the reason he didn't want me on the property is because I'm taking photos. This is where matter. we're going in a circle here. It's because I didn't break keep, a law. We're gonna you keep, can trespass when I'm breaking going. a law. That, that's not true. What? So you can just trespass a person when no law is broken? If it is a one company like this, yeah. Guys, absolutely. hey, guys, look up Florida State statue on what's required. Have a nice night. Please don't step back onto their property. Please don't eat yellow snow. Thank you. Please don't eat yellow snow. Don't beat your wife. Don't kick your dog. Don't fornicate with your friend's wife. Directives are pointless. Don't give me directives. I already know what to do. Hey. So. Two, three, five, four, one. I, I want to come back and have a conversation. Right? Awesome. So I did some more research. I ended up calling our state attorney's office because you know what? You guys brought up a very valid point and I didn't want to be wrong and then have you guys feel like I was being an asshole. Thank you. I'm, I apologize for that. So I did talk to our state attorney's office and because they are a public place and open that I cannot physically trespass you, which I did not physically trespass you. I asked you to leave the property. So I'm allowed to go back to that property. You could technically go back to that property. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So what they're going to do is they're going to call us back. And then please we're, let them know we're allowed we're, to take we're pictures. Gonna call back, we're going to come back out and I'll, I'm going to tell them, hey, because you are an open public business, I cannot trespass them from here right now. Thank okay. you. Now, Let's once, go. now, once they close, we have it, to leave. It'd be, it'd be different because they'd be loitering at that point because sure. there's no legal, legitimate business there. I understand. Okay. As far as reporting, I got up with them about that as well. Okay. Thank you. The in public place like that, absolutely able to record voices because it is a no reasonable expectation of privacy. Yes, sir. Now, if you were to walk up onto I don't have a reason why private property. Now, see, me personally, as a cop, I have zero expectation of privacy no. anywhere. We understand that. So you can record me all day long. Yeah, that's office. why I was trying to get that license plate of that officer because he just took a picture of me. Yep. And so, like, he does, he just created a public document. And so this is this is where people start getting in so a bad what's loop. The difference? Here's, here's my question. Just because I'm curious. What's the difference between you recording him and him taking pictures? He's a public servant, and I'm a, I'm a private citizen. Okay. I didn't offer to give my service to the public. He did. He signed. He signed a. He took an oath, and um, he promised to protect and serve my Fourth Amendment right, which I, which I have to, to secure my person's papers and effects. And so, um, that's what the difference is there. That I can secure my stuff because I am a private citizen, and you are a public servant. And, and then so second. So yeah, they, we do this for education, for fun Absolutely. and free. Because the one thing they don't teach in school is law. Which they should. And they don't educate they also, people. Well, they also don't teach you how to do your checking account, write checks, your bank. And so your tax, that's why a lot of people end up. That's why a lot of people end up uh, with bad bank accounts, and we end up broke, and our economy is low because we're not we're not being educated properly. And so we started doing these channels so that we could properly educate people for fun and free. I got you. You know, it's just a YouTube channel. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, you're live. Oh, no. uh, 275. Showed me. I saw you. 280 now. Listen, if you have any dirty cops in this department, tell them to go to Pritchard, Alabama Police. Still hire Guys, uh, give a shout out to this field training officer here. He uh, he messed up. We're going back. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll see you in a minute. Out here looking for us. There we go. It's following cyber. Okay, have the legal right to record and or be here. So, as long as they're not causing a disturbance or anything like that, there's nothing legally I can do. Okay? So, they can walk around, they can do their filming, and stuff. because this is a public, there's no reasonable expectation of privacy. Okay? So, other than that, anything else we can do for you? Appreciate it. Have a good night. Sir, Mr. Barnes, I, I'll give you a chance to apologize and I won't file a complaint on you. He's not going to apologize. If you're willing to man up and apologize, I won't file a complaint on him. He's not going to do it.